Hello guys, this is the Game Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Zets of Onoshima video and today we're going to be showing you how to get the second wonder weapon on Zets of Onoshima known as the Spider Bait. Now I did in fact post a video just the other day talking about some leaked coding that was found for Zets of Onoshima which detailed to us about this leaked second wonder weapon and a lot of people thought that was bullshit and uh, it in fact wasn't and today I've got a tutorial on how to do it so it means all the other e easter eggs that I detailed as well are certainly probable so keep looking for them, we have the, uh, the jump scare get easter egg and a ton of other crazy stuff so make sure you're hunting Okay, so the first step in order to do this easter egg is you want to grab yourself the Skull of Nam Sapper. If you don't know how to do this, there'll be a link to a tutorial down in this video's description. Now that you've managed to get yourself the Skull of Nam Sapper, you need to wait until a spider round starts. And what you need to do is when the spider round starts, is you want to start mesmerising all of the spiders. Now, this won't kill the spiders, in fact it won't really have an effect on them. And in order to mesmerise them, you want to press the aim down sight button, aka L1 or L2 if you're on PS4. Do not press the shoot button, otherwise you will kill the spiders, and, and don't kill any spiders either. And what will happen is when you're mesmerizing all of these spiders, there'll be one specific spider, when you mesmerize it, it'll have this red glow to it. And uh, as soon as you've figured out which spider that is, you then want to kill all of the other spiders. Uh, and then you want to take your, uh, your spider with the red glow on it, and you want to take it over to the purple water. And what will happen is when you take this glowing red spider over to the purple water, it will will in fact start to drink from the water. He'll drink for a little bit, not too long, and then he'll stop drinking. As soon as he stops drinking and he starts moving again, you then want to take him over to another one of the water locations. So you can take him over to the blue or green. It doesn't matter which order water you take him into. The other one to take him over to, let's say, the green water, for example. So take him over to the green water, and you'll see that uh, this glowing red spider, once again, will start to drink from the water. And again, as soon as he stops drinking, you then want to finally go ahead and take him over to the blue water, where you'll again see him start drinking and this will be the first step into completing this easter egg. Okay so now that the spider has drunk from all three of the ponds you want to make your way over to lab A and you then want to lower the cage down so you must have the power on obviously. So just press square X or F to lower the cage down and when you lower the cage down you then want to lure the spider into it just like you would do if you were trying to build the KT4 and uh, the spider will then get trapped in it. What you now need to do is you then want to raise the cage back up by pressing on the panel once again. So now that you've raised the cage back up, what you're now going to have to do is you're going to need to get yourself the electric shield. Now it is recommended that you get the electric shield prior to doing this spider round just because it makes it a little bit easier but in order to get this uh, electric shield you want to make your way over to the keeper podiums where you'll see your different challenges. You need to complete all three of your challenges within your game. When you complete the first one you'll in fact be granted with a max ammo, when you complete the second one you'll be granted with a free weapon and when you complete the third one you'll be granted with an extra perk slot. Now every single player within your game needs to have completed all of their challenges in order to get the electric shield. But once you've all completed your challenges, uh, electric will start uh, start striking the podiums every couple minutes or so. And what you need to do is you need to wait here until the lightning strikes and you will have wanted to have built your shield. And as soon as the lightning strikes on the floor, you then want to pull out your shield and you'll see that it becomes electrified. Now make your way back over to lab A with the electric shield and when you make your way over there, you then want to melee the panel uh, for the uh, for the actual cage and when you melee this panel you're then ready to lower the cage back down so as soon as you've electrified it press square x or f to lower the cage back down now that you've lowered it back down you just want to survive for two more rounds so it's pretty simple pretty easy to do but once you've survived those two rounds you'll see that another spider round will out of nowhere initiate when it shouldn't do you may notice something peculiar because all the spiders that spawn in on this special spider round will in fact have this red glow just like the original spider did at the start. Now all you need to do is finish the round off by just killing all of these glowing red spiders and as soon as the round finishes you want to make your way back over to lab A where you'll be able to raise the cage back up again by pressing square X or F on the panel. 
When you in fact raise the cage up, there'll be this massive spider cocoon that will in fact be webbed up in the center of the cage. And this is just absolutely sick because when I was leaking all this coding to you and showing you guys it from the real DF, I was talking about how this Easter egg is going to have something to do with the cocoon and stuff like that. And it's pretty much all come true. When you do this, the syringe will then uh, inject itself into the spider and there'll be this red serum that will in fact come out similar to the part for the KT4. And then you can press square to in fact pick up the spider bait second wonder weapon. Now in order to activate this wonder weapon you need to in fact press right on the d-pad and once again we found this out from the code and uh, we did in fact know this and when you press right on the d-pad you will then turn yourself into a spider and you'll be able to kill zombies and it's just it's it's just crazy this is just an absolutely insane wonder weapon I wouldn't say it's that powerful but it's just certainly a cool wonder weapon to use uh, it's just it's just so fun really I mean what if there's one like this this, where you can in fact uh, control a thrasher that would just be sick but uh, I doubt it because that would just be absolutely mental but yeah this has been a cool little easter egg now after about a minute or so uh, you'll in fact go out of this spider so anyways thank you for watching the video make sure to subscribe if you're not know, the latest I'm great it's Black Ops 3 so information so anyways thank you for watching I'll have there bye